empowering because normally you don't see much Melanesians on screen and like on TV and film so it's really good to have be able to have that space and be given that opportunity to tell your people's story. I'm hoping it can reach as many people as you can, like, because Melanesia is part of the Pacific, but it's not normally like put out there as much as Polynesia, Macronesia. People know more of them than Melanesians, so I hope that the story really lets people know about the cultures and the stories behind that. Melanesia, especially Solomon Islands, has. Isn't it funny? Being afraid of words? I'm mostly looking forward to, you know, fighting off the conflict that Vani has within herself because she's constantly like, not picking a side, but fighting between two cultures, the one that she's like rooted from and the one that she's growing up in. So I'm really looking forward to finally finding that balance and that acceptance that Vani finds in the end of the story where she really comes to terms with like her identity and how she can still be, be herself in a different environment and that's fine. Then I'm going find you when I'm done. La. Cotton dogori o coitem bom. You looking for a job, Vani? Didn't know you and the cleaner were besties. That's her mum girls. <laughs> That's mum, huh? Makes sense how someone like you got into this school. Uh, super uncomfortable at first, not gonna lie. Um, I think a lot of the lines, especially in the early scripts, were um, quite on the nose racist, um, which for someone that's trying really hard to like unlearn, like internalize racism, it was really confronting. I was like, it's so uncomfortable to say those things um, <laughs> to Elsie, who's like the sweetest human. <laughs> Great. She's back. Um, I think stories like these are not told enough, probably. Um, especially stories with um, mostly women and mostly black women, or led by black women, I think. Um, yeah, it's definitely time that we told those stories of empowerment as well. And I think um, the use of kind of those horror tropes to like empower I mean, even the fact that we're telling a story about, you know, a girl from the Solomon Islands, um, I don't think a lot of people know very much about the Solomon Islands. I didn't, I didn't know much about the Solomon Islands, um, but it's, you know, I've learned so, so much about it. Um, and I think, yeah, that empowerment comes from the storytelling of those stories that don't get told enough.